Dallas airport is kind of nice because there's only one way in and one way out. So you can't really mess up. <laughs> if you're on the right road, you're going to get in here. So because it's the only place this road goes. Alright, now what I want to be looking for today is the silver ramp, which is also rental car return. Now I am driving my own car, I am not renting a car, but if you were renting a car and you had rented a car from here at the Minneapolis St. Paul Airport, you want to follow these signs to rental car return and also the hotel, the Intercontinental Hotel is right over here to my left. And this is also where the silver ramp is. It's not a place that people would typically park who are coming to the airport, but I do want to go this way. Wait, nope, I don't. I don't want to go there. Because I'm not actually, I want to go up here. But then it's going to make me do something weird. To look carefully right here so I have to kind of make this little instead of going straight forward to the short-term and long-term parking I need to go in this silver ramp parking so I'm actually doing kind of a u-turn and going back this way okay and now I've got to get some form of payment out take cards. It does not take cash. You don't even get a ticket. It just remembers your card and you use the same card when you leave. This ramp is the same as the ramps where you park at the main terminal, like the short term and long term ramps. It's the spirally ramp that you go around. But I want you to notice something. You can't park <laughs> on most of these levels. So I have to go very slow and there's a lot of salt in here. And I'll show you what I mean. See, it's all blocked off. So you can't go in there and you can't park on that level. And the reason for that, here's another one. All of these cars that you see in front of me here, right here, are rental cars so these levels that are blocked off that I can't drive into where these cars are parked right here those are all the rental cars they're all stored in this ramp see Hertz dollar thrifty and so this is where they park all the rental cars is in this ramp but at the very top there are one, maybe two levels where the public can park. And I'm actually, I'm gonna go one more. I'm gonna go two more. <laughs> I'm gonna go to eight. to the elevator as I can. I can see planes out there on the runway taking off. Oh, take me with you. This freaks me out right here. Looks like you're gonna go right off the edge of the, the ramp. <laughs> you're just gonna drive right off the edge. Yeah, let's not do that. be able to get right by the door. See, not many people park up here. Here's what I want, and I'm gonna use my handy dandy disabled parking permit to park 
park right in this very first spot. Megan has been calling me and messaging me and I'm trying to drive and park and film. I don't think she's here yet, but she might already be here. I was trying to beat her, but I was running a little behind. So, um, but I'm going to show you how I get down to where she is and show you what that is, because that is also where you would go if you were returning a rental car, if you had a rental car from the airport. Okay, so I'm parked here in this handicapped spot. Level 8. Okay. You'll see. This will get you to the terminals, the buses and off-site parking shuttles, and the light rail. My car is right there. And I'm at level 8. Silver. And here's shows you where everything is so it shows you which levels have each of the rental car locations and then the rental car counters and where I'm picking up Megan because she took the bus from school is on level one and then you would go down one more to get to the tram over to the main terminal and we've showed you that before thank you for parking and maybe I'm listening A very fast and smooth elevator. Rental car counters, buses, and off-site Okay, so this is just the elevator bank. And so here we have the rental car counters, all of these rental car agencies, the buses, and the, the shuttles. So when Megan takes the bus from school, it brings her right out here. That's something, if you have a college student, one thing a lot of people don't factor in is transportation. <laughs> if your kid goes to school a long way from where you live, like at the college where Megan goes, a lot of her friends and people she knows live in other states and they come here to the airport all the time. <gasps> there she is! <laughs> Hi! Is this, a is this a Delta crew bus? Yeah. Okay, so they bring the crew here. Megan, tell us about how other kids at school with you have to come here to the airport a lot because why? Where do they live? Far away. Yeah. Everybody I know lives in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't have cars here. Right. So they have to take the bus to the airport and then get on the plane to fly home. Right. So at every break, right, there's lots of students yeah, definitely. taking the bus here to the airport. There were lots of students here. Well, only one other guy came and got off at the airport, but everybody else we went to the mall. Oh, right. Uh, because, uh, I don't know, sometimes you just want to go to the mall. Yeah, weekend. it's Saturday. It's the weekend. It's Saturday. You don't have a car. The take the bus. The Mall of America is just one stop away yeah. on the bus. So, And how long? It, ta it takes you an hour, right? It's a little less than an hour. Yeah, you got here before I me. I got here at about one. It was like oh wow! Minutes. It was quick. I'm fairly certain the driver was speeding. <laughs> so over here are the shuttles, and so if you're also parking at an off-site parking lot, I guess this is also where those bus buses are. But then over here on this side is all the rental car counters on both sides. So if you're renting a car at the Minneapolis airport, this is where it is. And then you don't want to do that. Unless you're picking up a car. If you're picking up a car, so you just flew here, for example, you get your car rental, then you would take these escalators to the different levels of the ramp, of the silver ramp, to go to where your car is. But Those if you... Are really quiet escalators. Yeah, they are. But if, you, if you're leaving Minneapolis and you just returned your rental car, then you need to go down 
to get Fall on the tram to or, or no to terminal one yeah light rail goes to terminal two which is where the dis oh but you'd still have to go there you'd still have to go down if you're on one of the discounter lines okay frontier spirit sun country those are all at terminal <laughs> two megan and i just stopped to use the restroom the Minneapolis airport has very nice modern new restrooms. They've all been redone. They're very nice. And one of the things I was just saying that I really like, because Megan has a suitcase, is that the stalls in the restrooms are big enough that you could take your luggage into the stall with you. So if you're alone and you don't have anybody to watch your luggage, it doesn't matter because the stalls are big enough that you can take your luggage into the stall with you, which is really nice. Since we're here, if yes. you will, if you will uh, humor me, Okay. If you were doing this, but you were going all the way home, and I wasn't here right now, yeah. could you show us yes. where you would go next? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So I just came in those doors over yonder, and we're going to come down here, down the escalator that we just noted points to Terminal 1, and I'm not going to fall down the escalator. My suitcase might, but I won't. Some elevators, too, that you can take. And we're just going to take the escalator down. And then you'll come to this big back rooms looking space. It's kind of freaky, but you're going the right way. And you just want to go straight forward to those doors. Still follow the signs for Terminal 1. There is a board right here where you can check your flight if you need to. So if you're taking a flight too. If you're taking a flight too, you will also do this. There's the escalator to the light rail and to Terminal 2, but we're going to go straight ahead into these doors where you see blue, red, gold, green, etc. parking. Which those are where we park if we fly. Yes, and then you'll see the tram. We're coming up on the tram transit, and there's a tram just leaving now, so we'll have to catch the next one. And... <laughs> There's some escalators, elevators over there. I don't know where those go. There's don't worry about it. Okay. So I can I can hear the tram coming right now. So it'll be here soon. The tram is approaching the station. Please stand clear of the doors. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Voila. Okay, so it's gonna pull in right here. You should always always wait for the people to get off the tram before you get on the tram. See how mom and I are leaving some space for the doors? We are gonna just stand back here and wait so that people can get off the tram before we get on. There's no one in this car though, so we're gonna go ahead and get on now. People at my school need to learn to do that with elevators. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people need to learn to do that with elevators. Uh, here's mom. We're on the tram now. The doors are Now we've arrived at the only stop the tram has. It's very easy to figure out what your stop is because there's only one going either direction. We're getting off the tram. Here's mom walking. Then you'll come into this area where you see the sign for terminal one. Now, at this point, we have to make a choice. Meg, if you're going home, what would you do at this point? I'm going home. I'm going to go down this way. You can't really see it, but there's another hallway with some signs. We'll go up there. Yeah. And if you're going on a flight, what would you do? If you're going on a flight, you want to go straight ahead of you to those elevators with the green glowing signs, get in an elevator, and go up to departures. Correct. But let's show them how you get home. Sure. So she came off the tram right there, and she's going this way. You can see it says, oh yeah, Here's departures. Departures straight ahead, and then it says, gold parking is this way, and that's where I'm headed. And hotel and regional shuttles. Actually, have you I'm figured actually out? sure if I figured this out. I think that escalator goes up just one floor and goes, why don't we try it? Yeah, let's try it and see if it does. 
Yeah, it does. The only reason I was hesitant to try it last time was because I was on a time crunch and I didn't oh. want to make a mistake. Because sometimes you don't have much time to do this, do no. you? So I want to stick to the path of the well. Mm -hmm. She does have to buy tickets for these buses. So I usually buy them for her, but then they go to her email. So usually I take the elevator right over there. Yeah, right there. But this is more for me. And so it's just one level up back to street level. Right, the elevator comes right there. Here's Uber and Lyft. So if you have an Uber or Lyft picking you up, this is where it is. Oh, there's more than one spot, okay. Some screens over there we can look at, but we're not going to show those because it has our city name. Um, and then I'll just sit in this waiting area, and then at my time, when I have scheduled the bus for, a driver will come around, it's every one hour, and call out my city name, and then I'll go check in, and then we'll get on the bus and leave. And then how long does it take you from here to get home? It can take, like, usually about two hours. Yeah, 90 minutes to two hours, I would say. Yeah. And they do make stops at a couple... Made it in an hour. <laughs> A couple stops in between sometimes, yes. don't they? Yeah, there's a couple cities in between that they'll stop. But there's other shuttles here that will also take you to um, other parts of Minnesota. Yes. And even Iowa, I want to say. Let me check. You stay here. Yeah, okay. And then here, these are the hotel shuttles. So if you need a shuttle to your hotel, it's in the same location. So you can see out here, like... Here's oh, yeah. the shuttle going to the Hilton. And here's the Radisson Blue. <laughs> so they're right out here and there's benches where you can wait. Yeah, you could not. No, I would actually. It's just Minnesota and Wisconsin. Um, but there are a couple double stops where they stop like in one city in Minnesota and then one city in Wisconsin. Okay, and to clarify, the hotel shuttles are on this side. You don't ever go out this way. No, always that way. And the regional shuttles are on this side. So there have been times that we've actually come back here to the airport and Megan has to go back to school. Yes. And we have to go home. So like we'll get in our car and, and she'll get on the bus. The opposite way. We're, we're at picture book. Yeah. The opposite way. In and reverse of what we just did. Right. And get on the bus. And then she takes it back to school. Yes. So it saves me about two hours of driving to not have to go get her or take her back to school. Yeah. And she doesn't mind the bus, right? No, the bus is fine. Yeah. Sometimes it's a little tiring, but it's okay. And there's nobody else on it except students. Correct. No. Sometimes there are other folks. Oh, are there? You can. From the local community? From the local community. Yeah. Okay, cool. They can still book tickets just like everybody else, and they get picked up either at the schools or at some area. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so now just to show you the whole thing in the reverse. Oop, tram just left. <laughs> now we're going back to the tram. There are some seats here if you need to wait for the tram. Okay, now we came back over here. And woo! Now we're just skipping where, where we were before and going all the way up to eight where I left the car. Something just happened which Megan says she has to do yeah. frequently. Every time I'm here, basically. <laughs> People don't get off the tram. They and don't we're realize like, there's only one stop. There's only one stop. And they're like, what? And I'm like, why aren't you getting off the tram? And this gentleman said, well, where do we go for terminal two? And I said, get off here, <laughs> follow us. And then I showed him how to get to... That was really fast. Yeah, this is a very fast elevator. And then I showed him how to get to the escalator to go down, because you got to go down again, to get to Terminal 2. And he was very grateful. So I think that is a confusion yeah. for a lot of people. Well, if you've never been here before, no. and you don't know the tram just goes back and forth. Yeah, exactly. Like, so it can be... The tram is really just going between the terminal and the parking. Is what it is. So we're back to the car, and Megan's gonna put her suitcase in the back with mine. And there you go. 
Well, I hope that was helpful to you. We like making these little airport videos and they seem to be very popular. So if you appreciated this little different Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport video, give us a thumbs up. So when you leave, uh, there's just one, oh, we should have filmed it getting out of here, but yeah. there's just one big exit. For all the exit. Ramps. No, there's not one big exit. There's just one big row Give me. of exits. And you will see it. There are giant green signs above every single one that say exit, exit, exit. You can't miss it. It's the only place you can go. And then you'll get to this little ramp and the little pay thing where you pay for your parking. And then it should let you through the ramp. It was five dollars. It was five dollars. Oh, oh. Gives me a mom's gonna take her receipt. So she got the receipt. And then the thing opens. And now the thing opens, and we're gonna go out. Andrew, the last time he was here with us, was like, What is this? Had a really good descriptor for it, yeah. and I don't remember what he said. It, it just funnels everybody out. Like I said on the way in here, yeah. there's literally only one way in. Like, look how many gates there are. And only one way out. So yeah. you can't mess up. Is that an eagle? Yeah, or a hawk. Is it okay? It's a golden eagle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Oh, there it goes. Okay, it can fly. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's fine. Show the hotel. I'm showing the eagle. Okay. I actually really think it's a hawk. It might have been a hawk. Here's the Intercontinental Hotel. There's the Intercontinental Hotel. Con and that's the parking ramp where we just were. Yes. And there's planes sticking their heads out over here, or their tails. Thank you. Let's see, this is a, sorry, person behind me. <laughs> this is a single lane road. You can only go one way. Yeah, you can't mess up. It, there's only one way into this airport and one way out of this airport. And now we're free. Thank you for watching. Safe travels. Safe travels. And um, be sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss the rest of this day that Megan and I are doing together because there's more to come. Mm -hmm.